I felt overwhelming joy uh, when I saw my daughter, and then at the same time, my world just fell apart. And within 27 hours, it went from my version of just perfection to absolute hell. It's a story that began 13 years ago when Matt Loglin met his high school sweetheart, Liz. She was perfect. I mean, she was perfect in every way. She was smart. She was funny. We were together eight years before we actually got married. Once Liz got pregnant, since my entire family and Liz's entire family lives in Minnesota, I had a plan to sort of have a website up so we could kind of chronicle what was going on. What began as regular updates about Liz's pregnancy turned into a lifeline for their friends and family when Liz had complications that put her in the hospital. Liz had kind of a difficult pregnancy. She'd been on bed rest for five weeks. Updates, I think, served pretty well because the, the number of phone calls actually decreased quite a bit. You know, we were talking mainly to our parents at that point. And early on March 24th, they said, okay, just get ready. We're going to do a C-section. They took Madeline out. They got to show her to Liz for just the briefest of seconds. Because of the C-section, they had told her that she had to stay in bed for around 24 hours. I had to split my time between Liz in her hospital room and also um, going into the NICU to see Madeline. I was teasing Liz the whole time because I was saying, you know, like, I'm now X number of diapers ahead of you, so you owe me when we get home. Next morning, the nurses came in and they said, okay, we're going we're gonna to take you to see Madeline. She was very excited. They got her up and uh, she started to walk around the room a little bit. She just said, I feel lightheaded. And dropped. And then all of a sudden there were a bunch of doctors and nurses in the room and, uh, and I got ushered out. I remember two of them walking out of the room arm in arm and crying and I knew right then that Liz was gone. It was a pulmonary embolism so she had a blood clot in her leg that traveled up to her lungs and it blocked both sort of passageways into the lungs. And it was so massive that it just it was pretty much instant. We had 80 years left together. We had, you know, 70, whatever. We didn't have 10 minutes. We didn't have that last five minutes. That wasn't how this was supposed to happen. And, but that's what happened. Oh, my wife is dead. What the hell do I do? I mean, I don't, I don't know how to live without her. Desperate for a way to express his frustrations and fears, Matt turned Liz's pregnancy blog into a reflection on his life without her. I started blogging for Liz's family. It was for my family, too, but I just wanted to give them visual proof that I was succeeding. And that's how it started. You have some teeth coming in? Soon, news about his blog and the honesty he displayed in it began to spread across the web. Within months, more than 40,000 people were reading it every day. These complete strangers became Matt's extended family. I never dreamt that people would actually give me advice or that they would actually help me through this process. We've traveled a number of times with my 15-month-old, so hopefully I can offer some good advice for flying with Madeline. Bring your powdered formula with you and then fill two bottles with water. You'll want one for takeoff and one for landing. It helps me. It helps me every day. I mean, it's about, you know, how things are going to be for Madeline in the future. And I want her to look back in 20 years and go, wow, how did he do all this stuff? And I wanted Madeline to have the life that, that Liz would have wanted for her. She means the world to me. She's, she's it. This is the only thing in the world I care about now. <laughs> she's number one, and she'll be number one the rest of my life.